Okay, so in this video, we're going to add this model. So I just went ahead and opened up the scene layer package that I have that I created with drone to map. I just opened it up in ArcGIS Pro just so I can show you what we're working with. Um, and yeah, we're going to bring this into Unity. Um, so let's go back to Unity and figure out how we do that. So if we click on the ArcGIS Maps button up here and let's go to Map Creator. This is where you can kind of edit things with the map without having to change any code at all. It's just like a, a little GUI for you, which makes it really nice to work with. Um, so the first thing we need to update is the origin position of the map. So this map origin position correlates to this ArcGIS map um, origin position. So we could change it here or we can change it here. I like to use this and we need to update it with um, where we want the map to be centered. Um, so we want it to be centered over this area. So we just need to take note of the latitude longitude values and add them here. So I'm going to change this to um, a different value and we'll change the latitude. Okay. And that's good for this tab. And the camera, we want to align with the view. So this will kind of like snap the camera to the map. So you can see it, it um, has the same coordinates now. Base map, we're gonna leave the same. I think it's just using imagery. Elevation, leave the same. And here's where we can add additional layers. So I'm actually gonna uncheck these other layers because we don't need them. We can actually just remove them because we don't need these layers. And I'm gonna add the integrated mesh layer. So for a source, you could either, if you have this hosted as a service, you can give it a URL to the service endpoint, or you can use a local package. So I'm gonna use local right now, and I'm just gonna to browse to where I have that um, 3D mesh um, SLPK. Um, actually, why can't I see the extensions here? Um, yeah, but this is the file we want. So just select this and let's just give this um, a name like um, our 3D model and add that. And there you go. You see it added it. I'm not sure why we're underneath it right now. Uh, there we go. Okay, cool. So you can see the difference between the base map and the model. Let me actually just turn off the base map just for a second. Can you not toggle the base map on and off? Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to actually remove it, so I'm just going to leave it for now. But you can see all this is the base map, and that's our model. So you might think that that's all you need to do. So if we hit play, let's just see what happens. And you can see it, something's messed up and it's not working correctly. Um, I think it might have just crashed. So yeah, we need to um, do a couple more updates. So you'll notice when we click on ArcGIS map, now we have the position updated here correctly. And if we go to the camera, you'll notice that the position is still referencing that old position. Now, initially I tried to change this value but it would always snap back to that value. And I could not figure this out. So I actually posted on Unity, uh, on Esri's uh, forums, and somebody else was uh, nice enough uh, to explain how this worked. So we need to actually update the player armature. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but this is basically the, the character and the camera will follow or like lock to the, the player. So we need to update the ArcGIS location component on the player and the camera will follow. So I think I might have missed this initially for a couple of reasons. First of all, the location is way at the bottom and it um, wasn't in latitude longitude, which I didn't really understand and that's probably why I dismissed it. But we want to put this in WGS84, so 4326, and you'll notice it changes from X and Y to longitude latitude. And now we can update this value 
with our value. And you notice that sticks, that change sticks. And now let's update this one. And you can see, I think, I, w I was looking down here, but I saw something move up there. Um, all right, now let's test that our camera values have changed. So there we go. Now that looks a lot better. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and click play. And fingers crossed this will work. Okay, it already looks good, it looks different. And there we go, I already see, that's our model. And this is just awesome, this is uh, really cool every time I, I see it, I think it's impressive. So right now I'm just uh, using the mouse, but I also have an Xbox controller plugged in. So I, I just took my hands off the keyboard and mouse and now I'm using the controller. And I, this all just works like out of the box. Uh, I think this is really awesome. Um, it's a great starting point to work on other things. And um, yeah, I am excited to create more 3D models with my drone and see what else I can come up with. Um, I flew this maybe two years ago, maybe even longer, and I didn't really fly it with, I wasn't really um, trying to make it a really good coverage uh, when I flew it. Um, I know there are, you know, settings you can do when you create the flight plan that will specifically make it better for 3D models. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try that out. And I, I just want to see what's on the edge of our model. So this is the edge of the model. And then in the distance here is the base map. So let's just head off of the model. And whoa, that's cool. I don't know why, I'm not really sure why, um, it seems like our model is hovering over the base map. I'm not sure what controls that, but this is pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of like um, that scene in Inception, the movie. Um, yeah, but this is uh, super fun to play with. And uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much all I wanted to share. This is as far as I've gotten so far, but uh, I'm playing with this a lot lately. So uh, look out for some new videos. And I know this is also possible with the Unreal Engine. Uh, so maybe I'll make a video on how to do the same thing, but using the Unreal Engine instead of Unity. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you later.